Yeah, we're here in Abbottstown with uh, the Dublin Premier Junior Camogie Manager, uh, Shane Plowman. Uh, Shane, uh, we're two days out from uh, the big day. Um, give us your thoughts ahead of the game. Oh, no, yeah, a lot of excitement around, girls, management, everyone just can't wait for the day. Got to the final of, what, a month ago now, you know, you think you have a month to prepare and then all of a sudden you're nearly on the eve of the match, so, you know, it's, it's good, we're trying to keep our feet in the ground, just get on with it, you know, prepare for the match. Uh, how have the preparations gone uh, leading up to this? Preparations gone very well now, in fairness, the girls, you know, they've kept their feet in the ground, their heads are in the right place, hopefully. Um, training wise, went very well. They've had a round of senior championship matches in between. All the girls came back, no injuries. Oh, it's went very well now, up to date. Yeah, you must be looking forward to the big day itself. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a special occasion, and it's it's going to bring a lot of, um, you know, a big crowd and, and and lots of atmosphere on the day. Absolutely, like you start off at the start of the year, and you, know, you start off the league. You're hoping to do well, come out well in the league. You know, you win the league. Start the championships always going to, you know, you're always going to get different results. But then we start it off. We, got onto a roll, wheel kept rolling, we kept winning, and then all of a sudden you end up in the final. It's a very special day, you know. Uh, you've had a, a particularly good season this year, um, Division 3 League Champions, uh, you went unbeaten through that campaign and you carried that good form into the championship itself and you qualified for the semi-finals with a, ga a game still to spare in the group stages. Absolutely, yeah. In fairness now, you know, the results didn't reflect on the, team, the counties that we played against, like, they were all tough games. Then Westmead, Westmead were always going to be tough, you know. Um, playing a league above us, they've been there, thereabouts the last few years, you know. We only hop a ball between the two teams. The semi finals, then Kerry, that was tough. We always knew it was going to be tough, good outfit. But, you know, the girls are out there gathering momentum as they were going along, got on top of a lot of teams there, and they kept there and kept going in the final now. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, and you've got Westmead, as you say, in that final. They, they were the only side um, to the features in the, the group stages of the championship. It was only by a single point, and actually unlucky not to draw the game in the end. You're free at the end. Um, you know, is there a little bit of air of uh, revenge uh, there to uh, you know make up for that result? Oh, well, finals, you know, finals are there to be won, like semi-finals. You know, there's no tomorrow in finals. You know, you have to go out there in the day, perform in the day, and hopefully, you know, get the result in the day. Westmead will be thinking the exact same thing. Their team, you know, trading in a division above us. You know, we're not too worried about that. We're confident enough. We've done enough on the field, and hopefully, it'll, you know, push us over the line in the end. And where do you see the danger coming from Westmead themselves uh, on Sunday? Oh, they have a lot of dangerous players in the midfield. Their centre back, their centre forward, their full forward. You can keep going if you want. But you know, we have to. We have the to tools, to, you know, to do the job. Hopefully, and hopefully, it works on the day. Yeah, you've been particularly strong in defence uh, this year. You've only conceded two goals through the whole championship. Um, Westmead have conceded six uh, in their games. Um, you, you've been really tight at the back. Uh, you know, Westmead are going to find it very difficult to get through that back line on Sunday. Well, it's a big open pitch, Crow Park. You know, anything can happen. Could be a wet day, weather, boys. You don't know what's going to happen. You know, you just have to stay concentrated, stay focused for the whole hour. The team that wants it the most will win between the two. There won't be a whole lot between them. And you know, hopefully we come out in the far end of it. Yeah, everybody expects it to be tight. Uh, most pundits are, are sort of tipping Westmead to come out on top. I'm sure that suits Dublin to go in as the underdogs and under the radar. Absolutely. You know, we've got a momentum. Every match has been a challenge up to date. And you know, this challenge will be no different than any others. And we can get over them the same as we got over the others. We'll have to cup at the end of the match. Um, you know, handling the occasion on Sunday, I suppose, is going to be one of the major things for, for both sides. Uh, I think the one that probably handles that the best will probably come out on top. Well, you know, big occasion, so even for the management, it's all about preparing for the game more so than the occasion. And, you know, keeping your heads on your feet, you know, in the right place. You know, and that's where it is won and lost nerves, win and lose matches. So hopefully, you know, we'll be prepared and we'll be ready. At least give us a good shot and even up now in the field. Um, you were very unlucky last year in a lot of the games, you know, uh, bouncing the ball either way, and you know, the results could have been different, you know. But th this season has seen a you know a huge change, you know. Is it just a change in look, or you know, new personnel, or what? What has sort of given you this upturn? Like last year, like I think we lost six games by a point. There is a lot of girls that came in, you know, and people are saying, you know, but the girls that were there last year put in a huge effort as well, and the girls this year have been just a bit more luckier than the girls that were there the year before. Um, you know, as you say, like you start well and you can gather, you know, you build momentum as you're going along. 
Like I remember our first game last year, we played Armagh and we played really, really well against Armagh and in the last couple of minutes we ended up, I think we gave away a goal and two points ended up losing the game before. And then you're chasing the season nearly. But you know, this year got off to a good start. Everything just kept going. You know, you do gather an awful lot of confidence so the first few matches. And this year just started well. And what do you think will be the main sort of elements, uh, you know, for both teams for, for you know, to win, to the winning and losing of, of uh, Sunday's final? Concentration, keeping your head in the right place. Can't turn off, you turn off for one ball, it could be the winning and losing of a match. You know, so, you know, everything is all about concentration and having the heads in the right places. And both sides have um, lethal free takers, I suppose. Discipline, the tackle is going to be very important on Sunday. Discipline, referee is going to be, you know, some t- referees interpret, you know, tackles different than others. Um, yeah, discipline's going to be a huge factor. They have a really good free taker, we have a good free taker, you know, so it will be very important to whoever who's, you know, let's say, cuts down the amount of frees you give away. And you have your last training session tonight, uh, I take it you'll be naming your side this evening? Yeah, we're going to name the side this evening, have a chat, go outside, do a small bit of work, and then set the girls, you know, half home, try and, try and get themselves ready for Sunday, get their heads bright and get everything ready for Sunday. So, and how have you noticed the, the sort of mood around the camp among the players? Is it excitement? Is there a bit of nervousness? Have you? Oh, just a small bit. There's always going to be when we go back to their clubs and you know, the kids are coming up to them, wishing them good luck. You know, Then they had their meet and greet day. You know. it, it hits the girls very hard you know, as well. You know, they're going, you know, like they won the semi-final, they have a month to prepare for a final and in between there's all these meet and greets and the kids are coming up and they're all wishing them well and the signs are appearing from their clubs. And yeah, but you know, they'll be ready, they're all ready. Uh, I suppose that month gap, it, it sort of has felt about like six month gap for trying to get to the big day. Well it has, and especially you know, they had to go back to their clubs for a couple of weeks, you know, to uh, prepare for a club championship match in between. It kind of helped in a bit of a way, because when they came back they were extremely fresh. So you know, it probably helped us in a small bit of a way, different way. Okay, Shane, well, thanks a lot for your time. And um, as all I want to say is that to wish yourself and, you, and your whole squad uh, the very best of luck on Sunday. Thanks very much.